I'm Todd with Bloodhound Lumber and Land in Lebanon, Tennessee. We are a lumber uh, processor, so we take the trees from the forest, we turn them into the kiln-dried wood that you use out there to build all the beautiful tables and river tables and furniture that you build. Um, so today I want to go through something very important. It's not touched on a whole lot. Uh, I know when I was doing the research, I didn't see enough of this really. Uh, and we're gonna compare a couple of these uh, as we go here. But uh, one of the things, if you are going to be purchasing uh, hardwood lumber from a lumber mill, a local lumber mill such as ours, one of the things, uh, if they're proposing that their wood is kiln dried, uh, one of the, the key things you need to do is let them show you, you know, have them break out their meter and you want this piece of wood, you want it kiln dried, you want to show the meter and, and get the reading and make sure that it's kiln dried. Uh, you can take their word for it, and that's fine. Uh, it's your call, but uh, anybody worth their salt in this business has meters and will not. If they're presenting quality wood product, they won't have a problem showing you. Matter of fact, they're very proud of it, uh, as we are. Uh, but anyway, there's, there's several meters on the market, so I'm just going to kind of go through a couple of these. When we first started uh, two and a half years ago, I guess it was, um, you know, we did the, I did the research, uh, it was my deal, and, and I decided to get, uh, go with the down horse, uh, horse meters, they seem to have a good reputation, and I think so far it's been a good choice. Uh, I can't speak to the other ones because I didn't purchase the other ones, uh, but when we first got it, we got this BD2100, uh, down horse, uh, and the reason I got this one, I guess I was thinking we were doing some other things along with cutting wood at the time and and this one will, will measure not only wood but concrete drywall uh, just about a, a lot of different services so uh, this is great if you're in a business like a contract where you're doing multiple things you're remodeling you need to check drywall for wetness to see what you need to tear out or mold whatever it would be uh, it will work on wood uh, but it doesn't have quite the capabilities uh, for wood as uh, this one and th they look the dang same right so you know uh, how do you tell well there's a bottom number on the back and that's how we keep them separated uh, but we ended up going with this J2000 uh, down horse and, and I want to show you a few reasons why uh, first of all it's designed for wood um, this down horse has everything from a calibration check so if we were to hold these two things down together at the same time, that's a moisture check. You'll see a 12 on there, if you can see that. Uh, that 12 basically means it's calibrated. Uh, once these get out of calibration, you send them in and get them recalibrated. And that's an important part, you know, when's the last time your meter is calibrated? Or can you show me your calibration on your meter so that I can see that it's calibrated correctly? So it's giving me a correct meeting, meter reading. Uh, the manual here comes with some pretty cool stuff here. So we got a code chart. Uh, just showing you the code chart here a little bit up close so you can kind of see a little bit of it, I hope. Um, is that upside down? I guess we'll find out. Um, so it's got a few little buttons on here and I'm just gonna go through them real quick. All right, this is the one when you wanna get a moisture reading, all right. This is the uh, moisture check. Okay, so we can calibrate through this one. Right here we have the different species. So it's a number, uh, one through 47, I believe. And if you're doing walnut, you'll look in here and find that walnut uh, is number 47. And so simply you would run this number up to 47 if I don't miss it, it'd be wonderful. All right, now you're ready to test walnut. If you wanna to go to cherry, you'd go to 12. If you wanna to go to white pine, you'd go to two. So it's it's specific to species, which is important to what we do. Uh, you can see we got some writing up here. That's some stuff they didn't have in here, monkey pod and some other things we dry. Uh, the other thing is when we've got our eye dry kilns going, and we're checking this thing. Uh, we need to make sure that when the wood comes out, it's gonna be warmer than just natural wood, right? And it's been in the kiln, obviously. So we use a heat gun to check the temperature 
prior to inserting the, the probe. And once we do that, uh, this little deal lets us adjust temperature. So if it's 120 degrees and the reading is this, the machine calibrates what the actual kiln dried moisture content is. The kiln dried moisture content is. All right. A um, couple other things, I guess. I have two of these. Okay, these aren't cheap. These are 500 and, I don't know, some 500 and change a piece new. Uh, you can get them through Amazon and downhurst.com, uh, other places. Uh, but we keep one of these here at the, the mill where we have logs checked in. We check co moisture content on all wood that's brought in and we write it on the ticket. We want to know if that's got to air dry, not air dry. You know, we, we need the information and, and what's going on with the wood when it's checked in so that we know properly how to go through the process of making that wood dry. And uh, it's different with different species, it's different with different thicknesses, uh, so there's, there's a lot of variables. This is kind of a scientific job and I'm not exactly a scientist, so uh, I've got that going against me. But um, we use these mainly for the probes, well not mainly, but uh, these slide hammer probes. Um, show you, pull this out to where you can see it. So basically you can see these two little probes right here. Those can be longer or shorter, okay? These are the short probes we use for four inch or four quarter, five quarter board. And then we have some two inch ones we use for our two inch and we have three inch that we use for our uh, three inch slabs. And we actually have uh, uh, that pretty covered. Uh, if we're doing mantles, we'll take readings on two sides so that we get a good true reading on what's going on. But you simply take and probe this into the wood and hammer this down and then take your reading, okay? Uh, there's certain ways you have to do it. You need to be with the grain. You do not need to be against the grain. We like taking, uh, if it's a more than an eight foot slab, we'll take a middle measurement and two end measurements prior to kiln insertion and that's where we'll take them as we're checking. Now we don't check every piece of wood. Nobody does, I don't care what they tell you. Uh, we'll check loads, we'll check sizes, uh, we'll do random checks, uh, we'll check it more than one place, so we'll average it, uh, all kinds of different things, just depending on the circumstance. So, uh, in the kiln drying business, you got to know how to use this stuff. A uh, couple things, uh, we get a lot of people that come in and say, well, my wood's at 5%, or, or my wood's at 12%, or 10%, or 16%, and we get it and it's at 30%. Uh, a couple things, the little moisture meters that you use that have little pins, uh, if you got anything thicker than an inch, they're no good. Throw them out. They're not going to give you your true uh, dried wood measurement. Um, if you're using one of those that slides, those are better. They penetrate into the wood a little bit, but here's the thing with those. If your wood is smooth, finished, it will give you one measurement. And if it is rough sawn, it will give you another measurement. So they're very inaccurate as far as, as what you're getting with a reader. Your best way to get accurate measurements is with these slide hammer moisture meters. Um, I would love to hear any comments that you guys have on moisture meters. A lot of you guys out there dry like me and dry long, longer than me and know a lot more than I do. Uh, I just think it's important to get it out there. The difference between the meters, you know, you got meters that are do okay, but they won't be specific. So they're gonna be a little, little less accurate. You got very accurate meters. Uh, Point number one, though, you ought to take from this is if you're buying hardwood lumber, make sure your hardwood uh, cupping has a moisture meter and we will actually pull it out and show you what the moisture is prior to you purchasing that piece of wood. Uh, don't be like a lot of people that come in here a, you know, a couple of months after they have a table built and say, well, they told me it was kiln dried. And it wasn't because it's bowed and twisted. So now that we've seen the moisture meters, Let's go outside and do an experiment on a piece of wood we just took out of the kiln yesterday. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you know your species of wood. This is maple. And then we're going to get our trusty chart out and we're gonna see that maple uh, is, hard and soft maple is number 29. Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna do. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meter and we're gonna run it over to 29. Man, it wouldn't be all the way to 50. We're about halfway home and it doesn't take long. Bad part is missing it, okay? Next thing we're gonna do now that we're, we're set with our species is we're gonna check the temperature of our wood. Now remember, we bring these out of the kiln. This wood can be 140 degrees. Makes a difference in the kiln temperature uh, reading versus the uh, heat. So. 
when I do this, here you go, 55 degrees, 52 degrees. Uh, as you can see, it's not, uh, it's not warm, so we don't need to worry about that. But if we did have a temperature, we need to set that at, uh, see it's at 120, 140, goes up to I think 200, a little more maybe. Well, it does. But uh, that's your temperature right there. So we're at 55, 50, 60 degrees, something like that. So we're good right there. Now you can check it two different ways. You, can, you got a pin meter like you see at the big box stores and that's great for your smaller wood. This is a little thicker. It's five quarter board or inch and a quarter. Uh, so what we want to do, we're going to check it with a pin first and you're going to put it in the middle of the wood and then you're going to kind of drive that thing in a little bit, a little pressure on it, rock it back and forth. You want to get it in, but you don't want it to touch the silver prongs. You want to just have it to have the pins. All right, and then we're just gonna hit that. And that's saying it's 11, 11.1%, okay? Which is a little wetter than I want it to be. Um, now we're gonna take, and we're gonna go to the middle of the wood here. Somebody puts that thing on too hard. You don't have to put it on very hard. But you do need to make sure this is down good and, and it's screwed in really well. Because if it's not screwed in all the way, you won't get a really good tight measurement. Now we're going to take this slide hammer with the short pins. You can see these are only about an inch deep. We're going to line it up. And I'm going to line it up with the same area we just did it in, making sure the wood grain is in the same pattern. And you simply hammer. So you think you're about where you want to be. And I think that's pretty good. That's going to put us in the middle of the wood. And we don't need that, we need this. Here we go. And we're at 8.4% moisture, okay? That's our accurate reading. This pin meter measured that same spot from here to here, that difference. So you know the moisture is the same at 11.6% where this did the 8.4%, okay? So to wrap it up, folks, really, if you're buying hardwood, especially lumber from a hardwood store, and by the way, don't take this to a box store and start poking their wood, they don't like it because it's never dry. But um, if you're gonna buy hardwood from a hardwood specialty company such as mine, one of the key things is making sure that the wood you have has been properly dried. Uh, we'll have another video on the myth of air drying coming up shortly. Um, the whole inch a year thing is bogus. And science has proved it. Uh, I'm gonna to explain to you why it makes sense in our different videos coming out very soon. Uh, but if your hardwood supplier is not willing to pull their meter out, and show you the moisture content, or if he pulls out a meter that's a little pin meter you get from Lowe's, doesn't work, okay? Uh, make sure they'll pull out their good meter and tell them to show me the reading. <laughs> show me the reading. Have a good day. Bloodhound Lumberland, we out.